it's 707 and we will get started with this December 9th meeting of the Hadley Climate Change Committee here in the Hadley Senior Center. We had hoped for a special guest, um, Susan Garrett, but um, she's unavailable this evening. Um, maybe she'll be with us for our January meeting. Uh, from the agenda you see that uh, she has a background in, her, in working with Climate Action Now and the Regenerative Forest, Farms and Food Subcommittee. Moving on, Kathy, could you give us an update? Uh, it seems that Hadley received a composting grant. Can you say a little it's bit It's not more? a composting grant. It's a grant related to recycling. Okay. Um, the grant money is supposed to be spent to purchase recycled as much. In other words, like when town hall is buying or any department office supplies buy recycled. Okay. Um, we can use it for compost bins, for the schools or wherever. It can't be used to pay for any service like recycling pickup or compost uh, food waste pickup. There's a whole bunch of, a lot of things it can be used for and it related to composting, but not, like we can't pay triple T with it. Can we buy compost buckets? and then sell them at a slight markup? Oh, I think that would be counterproductive. Okay. I don't think anybody would buy them, because they can already buy them for $50, so why would we charge more? Okay. I, if anything, because it's free money, I think we should purchase 20 and just offer to give them to people in the how, hopes that they'll use them. How big is the grant? $2,000. Uh, are there certain criteria that have to be met that we'll have to document or you'll have to document? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, they, somebody at town hall, I guess just, I don't, I don't know who will do it, but um, has to set up a separate, we're encouraged to set up a, a separate revolving checking account where the grant money goes because we have to, I have to report what we spend it on. So it, it's just for that money and then it would be much easier to keep track of how it's spent, you know, the receipts and all that stuff. Who granted Hadley this money, and who do we have to report to? Or Mass DEP. Mass DEP, okay. Yeah. So we'll just see. I guess, according to Jane, D DPW did go ahead and expand their recycling service, so they are now recycling plat you know containers in addition to paper so that's good so that means town hall i guess is too town i, I haven't too. been over town there hall is also i don't know how they have their bins set up i, sh I should go and uh, hopefully they realize they're on single stream now yes they do they may still sort not single stream but they well they, they don't have to but that's what they have if they're trained to do it that way, let them keep doing it because then it gets mixed when it goes. Well, the problem is they only had they had a bin in each office, but all they were putting in it was paper. They're now they can put paper and plastic. They can throw their plastic bottles in there too because it's all going to go in the same bin. Well, it's so nice to have a picture, right? And put it in so that then visually people know what what what. We got right, which I'm happy to give yes. them. Please. They just yes. need to be open to receiving it. But anyway. So how can we help, or do you have this all under control? Um, I don't know. I, I, I think it's happening. You know, that was a big hurdle, getting DPW to spend that little bit of extra money and so that now all town departments are recycling. Right. Is um, there a way to have uh, publicity, PR, email to everybody to make them aware of that. So as liaison to town hall. I don't think any, I, I mean, I think probably everybody actually assumes that town hall is doing full recycling. I mean, I would, I, I just, it was jaw dropping to me that they were not. I mean, recycling has been mandated for what, over a decade now. It's like nothing new. I mean, as far as I know, everybody, well, not everyone, but most people are recycling. So now the town of Hadley in full is finally recycling. The next thing is, what I'm working on now is getting recycling back going in school cafeterias. They're not recycling at all right now. Mm -hmm. um, 
so getting that back going and food separation, like that one more bin to, so we can send it off to be composted. And I, I visited the high school today and it's doable in that cafeteria. The kids have time to do it. Um, I talked to the head of food services and she's into it. Like there, she was helping me figure out how we could set up the bins and stuff. So it's just a matter of figuring out where to buy the compostable bags to line the bins with. Do we want to try to use some of this grant money to buy two yellow bins for food waste? You know, it's like a small amount of bins. Uh, the superintendent gave me the impression that spent for the schools to spend the money on a couple of bins is not that big of a deal. And then talk to USA and Triple T and figure out which hauler is the best one. I have a feeling it's going to be Triple T. Mm -hmm. um, and just get going, do it. Jane, you had been starting to say. So if you wanted to make a, like Catalina said, a picture of what goes in recycling, as liaison to the town hall, I wander around once a week and talk to everybody in the offices, and I could. My little Wait, the, what goes into what? A picture of what they're supposed to recycle, not just paper, but you can now put... Oh, I'll definitely bring them. If you have signs. that, I'd be happy to hand them out for you. Well, Where I don't have a color them? printer at my house, well, so what I probably... Get them uh, yeah, Give I'll, me one print or email me. Yeah, I think I did once, but I'll do it again. And, um, yeah. Thank and you. it should be posted in each office. Mm -hmm. And also... In By the and in the yeah, we need a, a good, the town needs a policy on recycling. Right now it's just uh, recycled paper. We need to expand that a little bit. The town then, or the town hall? What do you mean? The town needs a policy, is that for all the residents or for all the employees? Or for all town departments. For all town departments, thank you. Yeah, and that has to be... Um, sent out to all departments by February something, February 22nd or something like that. So I figure in January I will talk to them about that. Is that something that should be on our agenda for the January meeting to write that policy? Or mm. uh, maybe that, that would probably be helpful if we wrote it and just gave it to them and say you need to I think you technically need to, if it's a town policy, you need to write it and then get and it present it to the select board. Get on the right because somebody the from the select, select board, board has to sign it, and the select board has to approve it as a town policy, and then it can be implemented. Right. And if it has to be done by February, as soon as I so want to start asking them to do yeah. it in January. <laughs> so we'll be meeting early January. On the 13th is okay. our next meeting, which would give you a few weeks. I'll bring in some sample templates, like like what other towns are saying. Perfect. Um, and then, you know, what it is is a buy recycle pro policy. So mm -hmm. then somebody in town hall has to be willing. I, you know, it's interesting because applying for this grant, you're given money based on this point system. You accumulate points by doing certain recycling related activities. So they want me to get the grant money, but there's work involved. You know, it means having a policy that says we're going to buy recycled as much as possible and here's who you should order from. You know, so it's it's not hard, but it's a little bit of a, you know. Well, that's a change. Yeah. Yeah. Did I hear you right? The school is not recycling at all, didn't it? certainly for food, but how about for paper? Do you know? In the cafeteria, there is no recycling going on. In the kitchen, they are, but not in the cafeteria. The kids just, whatever's on their tray, they just dump it in the trash. At the high school, in the classrooms, they are recycling. Okay. I don't know at the elementary school whether they are or not. Um, a lot of things fell by the wayside with COVID and mm. did not restart back up. What, what the janitor at the elementary school told me is there's a lot of trash. He repeated it twice. 
and they have so much trash that uh, USA is coming twice a week to pick it up. So that tells me they're not doing classroom recycling, that everything's going in a trash barrel and then that goes to the dumpster. So we definitely need to get paper recycling in the classrooms going again, in the office. So the class that made the do not litter signs for us, is that teacher able to in any way support from inside, so to speak? I don't know. I can ask her. I do not know. Hopefully. I mean, I think, you know, for some kids who are interested, I'm hoping that like we need to label each of the bins. I mean, I can print out signs for that. It would also be cool if the kids made some signs, you know, to get them interested and invested. So it's just a matter of, you know, so far I've met with Anne McKenzie. I have not met with either school principal, which I'd kind of like to, but um, just getting the word to the teachers and the you know, I guess some teachers are going to be more interested in getting involved than others, but, you know, it's just getting that done. Mm -hmm. I, it, you know, I can't just go in there and do it. I have to hope that... Could we write a letter, kind of like a little poster, join us for a recycling, uh, we need a new world, um, um, could you make your classroom recycling and give it, send it to all the teachers and then make them part of that. I can give some, so far I feel like I have permission to give something like that to Ann McKenzie. Uh -huh. I don't think I have permission to contact any teacher mm -hmm. or a principal even. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, if you have some ideas, you know, send it to me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can CC me on that, Catalina, please, yes. because um, Susan Duncan and I have worked together on other projects. We used right, to work right. at the same school yeah. where she trained, so I know her, and yeah. it was her class that actually did the signs. Yeah. So I know that there are some teachers, certainly, who are interested. Also, I think there are some classrooms where they do a lot with Chromebooks and things like that, so they're generating less paper. Well, if we can get one teacher or even any school employee to sign up for the green team, that is the mass DEP leg for schools. And it's just this wealth of little videos about composting and everything about recycling mm -hmm. and composting. Mm -hmm. all, all kinds of classroom projects, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, they could access things from, you know, if they want to do a unit on mm -hmm. something. Yeah, yeah. for instance, with, with me, for multi-arts, I usually bring that to the superintendent, and they send it to, like, the, the booklet that they send to all the, to, to the families. So if we can get us a, a the Hadley um, uh, climate change awareness or whatever, like, please, um, uh, we ask your fam our families to be part of this program. Now we have this, this, this. Go, you know what, write it up. I will do it. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm getting a certain amount of pushback so far. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, it's like, we will yeah. try that somebody somebody else. Else. Yeah, and it, it, it's been a complicated year, but it is worth pursuing. Yeah, yeah. Sure. we'll do it. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see what you have in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Right. So anyway, I feel like it's going to happen. Um, Diane, the food services, director said, let's wait till the beginning of the year, which we can't get it done sooner anyway. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to... Well, that would be a real change. Yeah. Yeah, if it can get implemented. Well, most of the, uh, most of the schools in Franklin County are doing it. Yeah. You know, I think desire is the engine that drives all of this. It's not hard to do. It's setting up four bins. Instead of doing one, you do four. Boom, boom, boom. Once you get in the habit, it's no big deal. Yeah. And that's it. There's a, that's all there is to it. Yeah, there are a lot of Franklin County schools are, are, are smaller scale, even though Hopkins and Hadley Elementary are not large schools. There's a lot of Franklin County schools. Smaller than mm -hmm. our school? Well, so. Yeah. 
but sometimes it's easier to operationalize that. It's still. Oh, you yeah. know what? That's. I just think it's just a matter of making up their minds to do it. Once we I set up those bins and yes, I stand there and I say, think. put that there, put yeah. that there, put that there for a while. So could we give the bins? No, like, oh, th there's no problem for us to get it. No, we will get them and we'll bring it to them. And then that is already a step. It's so little. I mean, I could even buy them with my yeah, well, own money. But I'm, I'm going to find out, you know, if we can do it through this grant money. Yes. But for, from what Anne McKenzie, my understanding is that the money is not the problem. She's concerned about personnel. She does not want to... I don't know how much of this I want to say on the air. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Um, yeah, we, we can get, like, a club or something, or even the same kit be uh, monitoring. The I think the program. high school is going to be much easier yeah. than the well, elementary start. school because there's Everything. key club yeah. and there's student yeah. council. Right. You know, once this starts getting talked up a little bit, um, plus they have plenty of time. I was there for the last uh, lunch session and those kids were all done eating in 15 minutes and they had 15 minutes. Their trays were all disposed of where they were just talking and goofing around and stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's plenty of time to do it. Yeah. I think like, sometimes we need is a little push. Yeah. And then the whole thing starts to grow. Right. Grow, I think, grow. you know, just so get the bins set up get and get them labeled right. with signs. Yes. Whether kids, if, once it's set up and somebody's standing there telling yes. them what to do, which I'm willing to do. Right. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. it. And yeah. hire a hauler to like put a dumpster out there and come pick it up every week. That's it. It might be a good idea to maybe see if you can get some volunteer students who will actually like once a day check whether you know the cans are not in the paper um, bin or something like that. Because I, I see it a lot where people get just goofy about it and then you know you get it all mixed up and the point it, you kind of lose the point. So. I can introduce that idea, but I am not a school employee, and I'm not in a position to go ask some kids to do that. We've already talked about that. Um, yeah, having a monitor during lunch, you know, it's a matter of... It's an honor badge, you know, as yeah. opposed to, I mean, make it not like an obligation, but a, if this is like you really help the earth or something, yeah. you right. know, so people... The kids feel like, you know, I'm doing something really good for Right, there's school. one poster I saw, um, oh, actually, I forget, Susan Waite showed it to me or somebody, but it's, um, make dirt, not trash. Right. <laughs> I, love that. Yeah. I love that. Well, and Franklin County has been so much more progressive on this than Hampshire County. It's a shame that it's 2021 and this is still coming up as well, an Well, we issue. don't have any Hampshire County organization mm -hmm. anymore. I mean, Franklin County... They just, they have something going on that we don't, but that doesn't mean we still right. can't do this. Absolutely. You know, it's just, all right. it's like the right thing to do, and yeah, I, I think it will get going. Yeah. So again, CC me when you write that up, and again. Yeah, any keep, ideas you have, just do it. Yeah, keep me posted on that. We're going to move to the um, plastic mm -hmm. bags, and then we're going to be spending much of our session sort of workshopping what our event will look like for the spring. Okay, um, I had Jack uh, email everybody uh, the latest draft of the uh, recommendation to the select board uh, to significantly reduce single-use plastic bags and food service wear. Yeah. And um, as you know, we've been talking about it at various uh, meetings, and um, Susie helped me revise a little bit uh, in terms of the listing of the towns. Um, I also did a very minor revision in a couple of the data points here, because as um, recommended, I also um, attached a complementary uh, set of reference notes, yeah. uh, which uh, consist of uh, mostly links, uh, websites I got this information from. And as I was going through those uh, websites once again, I did uh, catch uh, some numbers that were off a little bit, so I kind of adjusted them. So that's where uh, there were some adjustments. And the good thing is um, most of these websites that you go to, even though they're um, uh, pro-environment, which pro-climate, um, 
they're all uh, reference uh, many, many uh, uh, scientific and research uh, data right. in your reference notes. So if, uh, and I didn't include all those, um, but if you go to a, a website like the Sierra Club as an example, which we all know is very pro-environment, uh, when they produce information, it's uh, <coughs> tied to multiple um, other sites where there's uh, research been done uh, by more um, neutral scientific right, right. Uh, companies. So by going to any one of these websites, you can just access a ton of articles. Yeah, right, yeah. They all produce other stuff. So what I'm recommending, um, unless we have more adjustments uh, to... Uh, and Jane isn't stepped out for a minute, but to uh, then uh, go forward to the um, select board, either in the month of January or sometime where we can get on the agenda, yeah. we would uh, review this recommendation. And the goal would be to um, then work with whoever they designate uh, to work with us to develop an actual bylaw right. that we can put forward at the spring town meeting for a vote. That's good. I Thank think you. it's in good shape, but we should just go now. You know, yeah, this, yeah, this, I, you know. I think this is very good. So at one of our last meetings, Bruce, um, Jane had mentioned something about connecting with a member of the planning board. Right. She said that was Has that come to pass? Or? Yeah, I think they uh, <coughs> redirected her <coughs> back to the select board. <laughs> okay. That's All right. my understanding. Yeah. That we'd go directly to the select board, not. So, Kathy, board. did you hear that? Um, that they redirected us from the planning board, just go right to the just select board. Just go straight board. to the select board. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Fine with me. So, are they looking for us to actually compose the bylaw? Is this? Oh, I is don't know. this it? Or no, this isn't a bylaw. Okay. This is just a recommendation to write a bylaw. I'm but but um, as you know, um, and it's in a, a thing I. You can click on any these websites. You can click on any town in the state of Massachusetts and download their bylaws okay. so we've around this. That, like, like, we'll go with it, but here is already the job done. They, this is They're sample. listed here. They're listed yeah, in the references. All right. Right. Yeah. So I could uh, yeah. usually perfect. go to East Hampton, uh, South Hampton, South Hadley, anywhere, mm -hmm. and uh, download their bylaw. Yep. And a uh, comment, modify it for the town of Hadley, but I think they would want us to do that in conjunction with um, somebody other than the committee. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's the part where we would need feedback from the select board. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. I know, I, I could write it, but yeah. the, uh, I don't know, it would be the town administrator or one of the other committees. What mm -hmm. is this? This is where Jane actually said the planning board does that. So, yeah, yeah. you know, but yeah. maybe the, the circuit is now, you know, get that approval, get the go ahead, and then the planning board yeah. writes it, and then it goes back to them or something yeah. for approval. I don't yeah. know. That sounds logic. I, I don't know. Yeah. She probably, maybe we can come back to that quickly at the end or something. So let's take a few minutes and just look this over. As some of you may have read it already. Yeah, I read it at home. I, I, I think it's home. very yeah. good. I'm good. You know, as a teacher, I often sort of dwell in predictable dilemmas. Where do I know that this will go wrong? Uh, and, and look at that, and I'm just, again, I'm trying to think about where are the places where people will say, we don't need this, this part of your argument is flawed. Well, this is why we had those points, you know, that about here are the yeah. arguments that are likely to come up against it, yeah. and we wanted to proactively address them. So... Uh, one thing I noticed, I get what you mean, but the second point, alternatives are workable. We that... try to keep it to two pages. <laughs> and the point was simply, you know, if anybody, like the farmers might say, well, we need plastic bags because there's no alternative to it. or I don't There's know. just something in the wording here that I think could read. It says, paper and corn-based bags are practical alternatives in many places where single-use plastic bans yep, have bands. been put yep. in place and they have been widely... Okay. I think it makes sense. 
I guess my brain was reading bands as backs, and I was yeah. like, what? <laughs> what? All right, so working back from when we have to get this to, um, hi. Are you looking for the mosquito opt out? Oh, yeah. It's down the hall, show. Oh. Uh, so working back from, you know, spring will be upon us before we know it. So um, do we try to get on the agenda for the select board? Yep. Oh, um, the day. I don't know if there's going to be another select board meeting before the end of the year, or do we get on there January? Yeah, I just figured, uh, I don't know. I have no idea how hard it is to get on the agenda. Wait, are you talking about the... Um, <clears throat> That our spring information day? Nope, no, no, no. We <laughs> oh, have it down there. The oh, oh, okay. We're talking about the plastic bag ban okay. and how to actually get it to the point, you know, it's almost like getting a bill through Congress. How do we actually get it moved through the process here in Hadley so we don't miss another round of town meetings? So you're saying not only do we need the okay from the select board to make it a bylaw, well, this is actually we need to bring it wish. to town meeting also? Yeah. I'm just not familiar enough with the process. So yeah. in some ways, I'm looking forward okay. to Jane's return just to say so. what's next and how soon can we get it, you know. So do we, we need her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's move to the next one. As much sure. We'll go back yeah. to the sure, and I just wonder, so today is December 9th. So there's probably <laughs> a select board meeting before the end of the year. And I'd say let's do it. Let's yeah. not yeah. waste Ready? any more yeah. plastic bags. Go ahead and send this to them. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. probably, I don't know, Bruce, would you go and present to them? Or? Well, yeah, I'd have Jack. Well, Jane would be there, but I don't know. Yeah, Jack, and as chair, probably should be there. Yeah. They are doing Zoom. The, they, they, so far, when I was, I, I went to do something, they did all by Zoom. So it's, uh, oh, yeah. so we could all be we there. All, we can be yeah. there, yes. Right, I was going to say, whether it's in person or by Zoom, maybe we should go to support you. Yeah. 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 Well, I think this would should be well prepared, you know, to like really, uh, you probably get like what three minutes or something. Oh, not to speak, just to physically be there. Or, you know. No, no, no. But for for him to yeah, yeah, yeah. present it, you know. So I think, anyway. Yeah. We Let's probably see. need to do that. Yeah. yeah and again, I don't know if it's just as simple as petitioning the town clerk to get on the agenda, or if it's a more complex okay. process. I, th I, well, what I, what I call her and say, like, I want to present the, the project of, of uh, I Love Hadley. Yeah. Um, and they put me in the agenda like that. I said, oh, thank you. Oh, this is the select board agenda? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so the, 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 the virtual thing in a small town. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so just let's, let's do it. Then. Like, that's what they, they did. Well, if that yeah. was your experience. That was my experience, like that's yes. That's how you do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, Jane would um, help us. Yeah. yeah. But as far as, far as I know, uh, the chairman, the chairperson, and the town administrator uh, developed the agenda based on uh, request in their business. So this would be a new business item for them yeah, to consider. Yeah, and, and I don't know if I just need to approach David Phil as the chair mm -hmm. to say, here's my request. Okay. I don't know if I have to work. Through Jessica as the town clerk, or through well, David. Well, we should call the town clerk. Well, so Jane will know the answer as soon All as right. she's back. So, let's so move on. yeah, let's let's move, just let's move yeah. forward. And again, you know, trying to keep this meeting tonight to about an hour yeah. or so. Okay. Um, so the next item, and thank you for all the work yeah. that you have yeah. put in on this. Um, the next is have the climate day, and if you hadn't seen, and I know some of you contributed to that list of potential speakers and panelists. Mm -hmm. Can I maybe frame it a little yeah, bit? Yeah, frame it and then we can go, why don't we go big picture and then go details? Yeah, there's a, okay. a couple of right. uh, pieces that I would love to have clar clarification sure. on so that we know what we're doing. So just to set the stage, you all remember, I don't know, it was I think in our September meeting when I just put forward the sort of big picture, you know, what the goals are, whatever, foster greater community understanding mm -hmm. of it engagement with it actively and uh, create political will to basically get more action going, right? So that's the, the big picture. We wanted to have some keynote, uh, ask the experts panel, uh, facilitate a community conversation, hands-on workshops and exhibits or art engagement of some kind. So quite a variety of ways to engage with the topic, right? And so, I don't know if you saw, Probably mm -hmm. you saw this agenda. 
um, that sort of reflects that now, and I put the, our goals on it in red. Um, and thank you for some of the names that at least some of you have already provided for mm -hmm. speakers. I'll, I'll come back to that. My big picture concern at this moment actually is that we think through um, what are some of the really big sort of bundles of activities that we, or tasks that we have. What I mean by that is, um, so, you know, working on the contents, uh, inviting people, that to me is one. one inviting task. people to participate. Yeah, well, Who inviting speakers people, the mean? speakers, the yeah. speakers and panelists. Then there is, you know, outreach, advertising, getting the word out that this is happening. There is, we have a food thing, um, you know, and, and music and exhibits. Someone needs to work on food. Um, there's logistics. Where are we going to do this? Yeah. You know, in what place? Mm -hmm. How are we going to get the space? Mm -hmm. You ask about that. Yeah. So there, there are, to me, tasks like this. And mm -hmm. I know for sure with my, at the moment, 70-hour day job, I can't do all that. <laughs> I need just to, to split well, up the tasks. Well, we need task. to make a decision. I think we talked before about doing tents on the town comp, you know, the green. Or are we going to try to do it inside here? I think we just need to make well, it. So it might be a combo of both. It yes. might be a combo yeah. at the same time. Again, remember, end of April weather can be really yeah, fickle. Um, and just the concern, you know, I have already um, mentioned this to Patrick next door, and Who's Patrick that? Barezo, he's Who's the library that? director, to see if this could possibly be like the campus oh, nice. for this event. Oh, the yeah. senior center and the well, library. These two, and possibly if we needed more space, maybe setting up a tent in between. Maybe that for that sense. day, the uh, American Legion would be generous in letting us use their parking lot as well. Mm -hmm. We'd have to be careful if we're setting up tents and having cars mm -hmm. circling people. But, you know, this is why these buildings get built. Yeah, I think that actually is nice because it's not too far. Well, yes. the thing is, if we go ahead and just decide to try to do it all inside, then we don't have to worry about what the weather does. Well, yeah, I mean, it might be, you know, it's big enough to do that. I and we have some great breakout spaces. Right. Here, here, some of the rooms in back, some of the rooms in the right. library. Right, the, the dining room is huge. Yeah. And then we have this room and down there, so. And in the library you have um, um, two meeting rooms, yeah. if they're both available and working. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But, so, we, but we need a backup in case of, we don't know what the pandemic will be like, but... Right. Some yeah. people well, if we will, go into lockdown again or something, then the whole thing's Yeah, over. but I, I, I know well, I'm involved with other organizations, and they're, I mean, they're even, not doing in-person uh, big events. Right. So, and, yeah. and, you know, even if we're in a better space and not lockdown per se, you know, we will still have to have a COVID protocol and figure out how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So... I don't know, you know, so there's, that's to me another piece of the logistics right. to figure that out. So I... But having a tent potentially available is a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we mm -hmm. might, I like Jane's idea of food trucks. <laughs> and that relieves us of the responsibility of food and the plates and cups and all that right. kind of but, stuff. But then, even that would need to be organized, right? So, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm just yeah. saying... So, I wonder if maybe we can first talk about sort of the big bins and who might take on mm -hmm. the leadership on each one of those pieces. I I would love to do the content piece of and course. and yeah. you know make sure that it, that we have sort of high quality speakers yeah. and yeah. all that. Well, and it seems we should have at least two people on each of the bins, you know, for like lead and support and all that. I think we have too few people to do all that. So well, I'm know, thinking I, we're going to come back here as a coordinating mechanism. Yeah. This is the place where we bring, you know, whatever anyone yeah. takes on brings that back so together. So for the sake of, um, you know, I'm kind of a visual learner, say what you see as the buckets or the okay. bins again. So let's just say contents or speakers, panelists, you know, whatever. That, that yeah. to me is, is one bit, sure. right? Um, and then the outreach and advertisement. Well, maybe we can all. I mean, I thought of a couple of groups to let know about it, but yep. I know just, other people are members of other groups that I'm yep. not part of. So She's just maybe, listing the, the bins. Yeah. Yeah. So let's stay with that for a minute, and then we get into the details okay. on each. Food, um, 
to well, me. I'm not sure what you're talking about by bins. So but what are the big picture? The tasks that need to be dealt with in order to organize a, m several hundred people. Okay, them. so like categories. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Compost bins. <laughs> so my anyways, brain is too literal. This is uh, the third Science. area. What's the third area? So those are th so content, content and speakers and contacting is one. people is one thing. Sorry, you're saying the actual content and the yeah. contacting of the speakers. That's one. That's one. You're going to do that. Yes. Okay. Outreach oh. was oh. bin number two. Yeah. So out, and I suggested that we, whoever knows of a group to, to you know. Publicize this. That I think could it be takes more than one person. Th sure. There are multiple groups, yeah, yeah. but someone needs to coordinate. It doesn't mean yeah. like someone has to do it all. It's more like right. somebody one needs person to make is sure we're doing it. Yeah. Gets done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So no. food, drinks, anything, you know, however we're going to decide where we're going to do it, in what, whether it's with trucks or whatever. But so think that's about your third that. bin. That's the third one. Um, and the space. logistics of, you know, space. space. Um, I think it's space, it's COVID protocol, um, you know, really thinking that through and, and different scenarios of it, weather, whatever, right? Yeah. We m that might in eventually include things, do we need microphones? Do we want to record, you know, any of those things? Do we need to have a Zoom account? Yeah. You know, that could be part of logistics too. Well, if we go into lockdown, right. you know, we might need to jump to that alternative, yeah. and then what does that mean? So it's actually quite a complex thing to yeah. think through. Um, and then I guess, you know, I was almost thinking to you about you, Catalina, on the art pieces, because you already want to do the yeah. theater, you're with the cultural council. Yes. You know, we had said maybe music and exhibits mm -hmm. of all kinds of art during yes. lunchtime, you know, that could be wherever that is. So I don't know if you were interested in this. Of course. Well, there you go. <laughs> I am here. So it's the art component of it, um, yeah. you know, under one umbrella, but there are several pieces to yeah. it. Um, and, you know, I would just say under the contents and speakers, we had also talked about um, the commitments to action. I know Marian mm -hmm. was talking about the emergency declaration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, maybe she would be just busy doing that, I don't know, that's actually quite involved to yeah. get a town to yeah. declare the uh, emergency. Oh, there's Jane. Just in time. We were going to give you all the tasks. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah. there is some, something about the political action piece that needs to be thought through, um, and maybe she's willing to, to do that. I'm more than happy to bring Joe Comerford or you know any of the yeah. political people to, as speakers, but in terms of the work involved in doing the climate yeah. de emergency declaration, that's the whole So thing. let's start with what we've been doing is organizing. Again, this is the big view, the 10,000 foot view, kind of thing of what are the buckets, the bins that we need and its content, uh, which Susie is leaning toward. Um, outreach, such as advertising this event, food, yeah, and you know, I, I really like that idea of food trucks because then that kind of unburdens us um, and helps some local vendors. So the, there's are logistics. You holding this inside or like well, well, we'll circle back to let that. Me, let me okay. Okay. Yeah. Logistics, art, and sort of the action, the climate action, which Marion has been talking about. So those are three different ones, right? Yeah. The oh. logistics of space, whatever yeah. we, space. you know, what we do with under different COVID situations. Um, any technical things we need to pay attention to. All right, technical food trucks are not allowed on the Route 9 corridor, so you can't have it at Home Depot's parking lot, for instance. Could we have that? But you could have it on the common. Okay. Could we also have it here with the food trucks in this town parking lot? Probably. Is it big enough? I don't think that, that would take up... You know, I'm just, I'm just awfully <clears throat> concerned about, you know, who's funding the tents, First of all, you know, we don't have much of a budget here, um, and those can be expensive to rent around graduation I time. Grant, grant money could be. This isn't graduation, right? We, we, no, it's before, but I'm just it, saying, you know, spring events. So are you talking about lots of tents or little tents or one big tent? or? I think one, you know, like the tents they use at the asparagus fair? Where can, people, wait, can, yeah. can we get 
sorry, I'm just trying yeah. to keep it sort of, yeah, you know, keep it big before. Yeah. The, those are all the details, and, yeah. and someone needs to take really time right. But we're going to have to discuss it at a group as a group. Yeah. I don't think one person. No, well, I guess I just want to make sure we have sort of the big bins and someone feels responsible for each bin. So have you gone activities. through your bins? I have six on my list. I have six, too. I yeah. think those are the ones. I, okay. I'm not sure if they're, I mean, the overall coordination, I think, happens here, yeah. you know, that we put all the pieces together. Okay, so now do we want to focus down and just talk about... Well, should we all say which, which thing we'll do? I mean, yeah, it'd be so, great if yeah, there was some yeah. person who feels responsible for, for doing yeah. that. It doesn't mean... Okay, I can't take on any no no worries. organizational yes. thing because okay. I've got too many other... Yeah. Right. And I've we had the, um, just to clarify, the date is set that Saturday after Earth Day. A April 23rd. Yeah, yes. oh, April 23rd. Right. April 23rd. Yeah. It's a Saturday. Yes. And, and he had said from 10, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. Okay. In that time frame. In a minute. Okay. All right, I'll do food. Okay. Are you going to compost your waste? <laughs> sure would be nice. I hope so. I mean, why not? Why yeah. not? Absolutely. It's just DPW yeah. bringing the three bins. You know, it's like, I don't know. I can do the, the R part, and also I can help with publicity. It's Maybe you could be the one to get out. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I know two groups. I'm happy to. Yes. Yeah. Like we'll just so you mean outreach, publicity? Yeah. Okay. So I can help with the outreach, and I can help with logistics. Okay. Yeah, those are two that I'll take on. So Catalina, yes. you were art, and also outreach. Outreach. So right. I have location. Is that logistics? Yeah, space. I'd say. Okay. Covid program. And then maybe when Marion gets back, we can ask yeah. her if it's even feasible in the time. I mean, you know, we're talking three months to pull this off, which is really ambitious. I don't know if, if that's possible. It is ambitious. Um, it is. And it's also under the specter of who knows what COVID will look like in three or four weeks. You know, I saw the pop-up of the number of kids infected in schools right. this week. It's just, it's... Yeah, so we have to be ready and flexible. Mm -hmm. right. But that big international pronouncement about, look, at, here's where we are, has come out. And I think the sooner after following up after that, let's just try, you know. I think we should sooner the better. aim for it. And yeah. if we have to cancel or okay. modify, or yeah. just don't put money down on people appearing. Uh -huh. yeah. Hey, Bruce, can you help with... Publicity and outreach. Yeah, yeah. I okay. I don't want to be solo on any of the uh, areas. So I think um, pub, uh, promotion, advertisement, I could help out. And yeah, because I know the, you're in some kind of group that I'm not in. Yeah, but I, that's my problem. I'm in too many groups and I'm doing too many things and I'm over committed. I come to invite somebody from the Mothers Club to sit on this committee because they're going to be actively involved yeah. and then they can start putting their mm -hmm. two cents in and they have a distribution. So that's a yeah. great idea. And Jane, you and I can talk about when like terms are up and such. Mm. Yeah. What? Mothers no, Club. No, and people on the committee, like when like cycling through different people on the committee and so terms are up. So your committee is appointed as a committee until the job is done. <laughs> Just like the, <laughs> the Okay, okay so I don't know if you were like the Supreme Court or the yes. Pope, you know, yeah, or if you had there's any limit on you're, how long we could be on the committee. You're on the committee until you have finished yeah. your job. But we also have some other committee members we need to find out yeah. of, you know, there have been some people that we have not seen in months. Yeah, I mean, they're kind mm -hmm. of not really. Yeah. So, so that, yeah. Can, can I make another suggestion that, um, you know, we, I mean, all of these things need to be worked on simultaneously to some extent, but I think we should maybe think about um, which of these topics we prioritize for discussion in the group when we meet. Mm -hmm. I think there should be work probably going on in between, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, so right, like we, uh, food trucks, I mean, I can get in touch with Jack about, okay, have we decided where we're doing what, and, you know. Well, and what do we need to do to get a location? Like the common, for all we know, it might already... You have to decide where you want to be, yeah. and then put an application in, which is easy to do. To who? Through this, to the select board. But 
but there's a form online. But we have to know if, if we have a budget. So let's say if a tent costs $500. Uh, the town is not going to give you any money. Right. That's, that's, that's why yeah, I brought it up. Right. We don't have a budget mm -hmm. for something like that. And that's one reason we have two buildings built here that are spectacular space. Well, it may be that because this is climate related, if, if we can... I, I have a list of all the things we can use the grant money for, so I'll look. And maybe it's possible because we're going to be promoting composting and recycling that we can use grant money to run I have one more um, category, which okay. is sponsorship. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody were to, you know, maybe contact, I don't know, banks. Northeast banks Solar. But I think a lot of the solar agencies around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever the, the right entities are, they might say, you know, I'm going to put up my banner wherever, and um, but I'll give you a hundred bucks or something like oh, that. No, wait a minute. If you want Northeast Solar, you want $5,000 from me. Well, I, I have no idea, but you know that would give us an ability right. to give uh, honoraria to the big speakers right. or to the panelists. That would give us help with yeah. uh, subsidizing food or purchase, well, I mean, yep. renting yep. stuff. So I guess that um, maybe this is part of I don't know if I want to put it under the logistics piece, but it just feels to me... I think it should be part of getting speakers. <laughs> You're no, going to no, contact Sponsors and speakers are totally different. I know. It's a yeah. very different thing, yeah. And, and I really don't have that kind of... I'm not good at marketing in that way or, or getting sponsors. So it's if there's somebody who knows them or... Yeah. I mean, we've just leaned on the Hadley Banks um, for contributions to the new library. The um, senior center? And the senior center. Um, but contacting the solar companies and maybe like Home Depot, Hadley Garden Center, you know, like... But yeah. just a minute, before we could talk about that, for what do we need the money? Right, so I in, in my mind it's already morphed to budget and sponsorship, so yeah. someone needs to figure out, you know, what do we need money right. for? So for the, and because what's it it's, gonna Yeah, if, if we can get the people the, 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 to come and talk, they I mean, if on an item that mean, they can do it for free. Really. And food, we can just like, instead of thinking like we are going to cook this, like we just go to uh, uh, Stop and Chop, uh, Trader and Joe's, and ask like uh, cookies and chips. So I think we need to do everything as simple as possible. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I think if we have food trucks for lunch, that that in itself might draw some people to come. Well, I think we need to strategize this as, you know, unburdening us, not making this about the money and all of this, and just have it sort of bottom up. Yes. Food trucks, Tanda Bago might chip in a little bit, and some of the other local eateries, Gregory's Bakery. Mm -hmm. right. You know. See, that, that's the relatively simple stuff. I'm more concerned with renting a tent. If we so can't what, get do we, what are we putting under the tent? A place for people to eat. Well, no, we're going to then need Speakers. chairs. And I, I guess I just, I, I'm struggling with why don't we use these buildings that we just built? I agree. This That's is what I'm COVID. saying. It's COVID the content problem. of the day, I think. Yeah, but the, the, then we can have, like, a, the, we, for instance, we can have the, the tea right here and people please go outside and eat. We don't have to tell them that you can go. And so you eat. have to consider weather? You have to consider COVID. You have to consider, you know, how many people might show up. The better so, our is, advertisement, the cr more crowded it is, and, and the more so dangerous. Contrary to everything we argued with the planning board, we do not have parking for that kind of crowd. Right. This 96 spaces isn't going to cut it. Even what? if we use yeah. the Legion lot, and there are, we can only do that till three because that's when they open on Saturday. Well, what about across the street? Well, how about the schools? Yeah. People could park over. Yeah, they can park there. And there'll be spring, there'll probably be soccer games. But speaking on. of how about the schools, I wonder if we can use the space. And I know we have the concern, the inside versus outside, but, you know, we also have the concern about if it's a cold April day, um, you know, that's going to dissuade people from coming too. That's why it's kind of nice when it's undercover and heated. That's why, I, yeah, I think... Or the air conditioning is going to be really hot April day. <laughs> well, anyway. I, yeah. I, I prefer that as simple as possible.
the less complicated as possible and focus in the quality and the, of, of what we are going to offer in the talks. And we, you know, like uh, if people are going to come to hear that just because they are going to have a free lunch, it's like. Uh, no, you know, not a free Carolina, lunch. I totally agree with the principle, but yeah. a good conference will come off when you have thought through every scenario. Yeah. And so we just simply have to think through the yeah, complications of the if life if we that we just now offer live in. cookies. That won't be enough. The, that's the least of that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the least of it. I'm <laughs> saying invite food trucks to park over on the green and uh, not us pay for the food. Let people go over there and buy their. Uh, you know, when we break for lunch, there will be like three or four food trucks of like really delicious food that people like. So I have a suggestion. Spend their own money to eat lunch over on the green and then come back for more stuff. I have a suggestion for the sequencing of things. So yeah. it seems to me we need to figure out the possibilities of how this is going to run, where it's going to happen, yes. and under what circumstances, right? Mm -hmm. So the scenario, that's the logistics yeah. piece. And with that, a discussion on the possible budgets that we need for the expenses under different scenarios, right? If we're... If we can have this space without a rental, fine. If we need a tent, it's a different thing, yeah. right? So there's different implications of the different scenarios. In parallel, you know, I can work on the contents of mm -hmm. just getting speakers nailed because they're going to be booked. Oh, yes. It's, it's birthday, right? Yeah. And um, so to me, it seems like the, the January discussion could focus on the scenarios and, and the, the budget piece. Yeah. And I will report back on contents. And I don't know if I have it all figured out by then because it's the holidays and people will be gone and whatever. But at least some progress on that. Um, and okay. some work needs to happen pretty soon around that on outreach and and then sponsorship, which is two different things. But but yeah. you know, I, I one to be glad to work on uh, scenarios and budget. If someone. Wanted to an objective is budget. I do a lot of budgets, but oh, well, sponsorship. And no, no. I think we need to. Well, I, I think it'd be helpful to figure out the scenarios and budget, then go after the sponsors. Right, right. So I, I put a note that I'll, you know, call Taylor Rental or whatever and find out the cost of. Okay. It would be a tent and tables and chairs, like what they set up for the asparagus fair. You know how there's like all the. That's, just, that's that's such a scale beyond us, and that's sponsored by WGBH or whatever, yeah. and the river, and, and it's so more like the that. Amherst Common. Yeah, you have lots of things in the Amherst Common. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm just concerned because I've been to plenty of UMass conferences and conferences all over the country as an educator, and so you know, don't even bother with the tent and tables and well, chairs. No, and it's just the chairs. budget, the scale of it is not something that. It's a lovely We're idea. Sure. Yeah, you know, that's true because, like, think of Taste of Amherst and events like that. There are no tables and chairs or tents. Right. There's just the vendors, and you walk around. There's usually a one table, uh, one at least one tent. So there are lots of people in town who have pop up ten by ten tents. But why do we need it if we're not going to rent because tables? Because if we have somebody talking about solar or somebody talking you can about have stations. recycling or somebody. Each yeah. group could have their own tent, and people would go and visit them outside. Okay, but be that's moving permitted. it from inside to outside. Well, it can so. be both. It expands it if some is inside. So you're saying try to get tents donated? No, you borrow. Borrow. Land. Bo Land. That's what I meant. Yeah. Borrow. Yeah, but do you envision, Susie, in case COVID keeps rolling like it is, that we would have mm -hmm. one giant tent as sort of a main hall on the common? Well, I mean, you know, if we have, if we had sunshine, we only needed a, a place where a speaker could be and they could give a talk, whatever. Maybe there's even possibilities of a big screen or something like that. But other than that, you know, we don't need a heck of a lot for that, yeah. right? People can sit on the grass for they that They can matter. bring their own chairs. If it, if right. it rains, it's a whole other yeah. ball game, right? So then it's a really big question whether... Co rain plus COVID is sort of our worst case scenario, yeah. you know? What it's would you worse now. I know, uh, so we need to make a decision. Like, we keep going back and forth, uh, doing it outside, but then rain ruins that, so... Well, no, but no, we it's scenario it. work. Then you right. work out, you know, if someone were to give a talk here, 
and it was recorded, can it be like you can have some people here and it can be uh, transmitted to another bigger space over in the library and, and that way people in two covered places people how, can watch. I mean, talk about cost. Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's, okay. yeah, that's Hadley. Hadley cable yeah. okay. broadcasting it over there on the big um, screen TV that they There's have in the library. Oh, right in that one room. In that community room. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's the where we just need then people who have the technical know-how how to yeah, make it happen. I mean. But I mean, those to, to me would be sort of the, the thinking through the scenarios, and they have different implications for. So, do you have a general sense of how many people will come to this, and are they going to come for the whole day? And you know, are we talking fifty people, five hundred people? What is, what is your sense? On well, I would hope. That was landing somewhere in the middle there. Okay. Maybe 250 people. I'm hoping we could get that. That would be great. And you I'd know, be surprised. That would be wonderful. Yeah. As, as we do this, do we want to also lean on like Earth Day a little more? I know we're calling this Hadley Climate Day, but sort Maybe of Earth Day call Climate Day. Hadley Earth Day. Hadley Earth Day Climate Day. No. Okay. Climate Day. Because we, the whole thing started from we want people to get more aware of climate Maybe we change call it in town. Hadley Climate we, Emergency Day. If we if we can get to a declaration, maybe yeah. then that would be okay. okay. But it's also a little friendlier. I don't know. Anyway, I, my my All sense right. was that you know, the the sheer fact that you do anything in Earth Week, you know, makes that association. But I would like, you know, we keep talking about recycling and composting. Let's call something climate. Let's actually do something. Right. That's our name. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's so, focus on that. I know it's not going to be popular, but I think to pull this off, you're going to have to meet more than once a month. Yep. I agree, actually. Right. Mm -hmm. Or at least. Yeah. Well, I think Talk, we need that. Yeah. It violates open meeting. I, I still don't quite understand how that works. But can we just. Talk to each other on the phone about like what yes, we do. Yes, you can't make any decisions so. though. Right. Okay. I think there has to be some subcommittees and all that. Although in some ways we're the size of the subcommittee I know, as right. is. Well, I mean that's yeah. what these bins right, are, right, right? right? And so. Yes. That's why having someone who takes the lead and then whoever has the time to, or energy to contribute to any one of them. So we can gather a lot of information on our own and by talking to one another, whether, it, like, the decision of what's the location going to be, we need to do that in the meeting. Yeah. yeah. So let's go back to your point, keeping an eye on the time. Um, what's our mission for January? I think the logistics piece, so thinking through the scenarios, okay. where we could have it, and, and then relating that to, you know, what are the related budget needs. Yeah gives us then sort of marching orders what how big the outreach to sponsors needs to be. Yeah. Right? I will work on contents and speakers in the meantime. So those two things could be those could be on the on the agenda. Right. And I think, you know, anybody who can take a lead on the outreach, I mean adding to that list and really thinking how can we get to everybody? Because we need to actually get it on people's Minds, agendas, well, calendars. You, yeah, you have a number of radio stations in the Valley, especially I think of WRSI, where they're very progressive. And, you know, seeing how they could help us, you know, folks like Monty Belmonte, who just did the March for the Food Bank, who was good about promoting Valley causes. What about NPR? Can we ask them? Why well, not? We can, we can have a... I mean, they, I heard the other night, it. I mean, they... They did a, a brief on Marty Nathan, so it's like they will talk about. Yeah, I don't and, you hear know, it can, it local can go into often, the, the Climate Action Network newsletter. It can go on all the neighborhood mm -hmm. listers, whatever, Facebook, mm -hmm. anything, right? So there's a lot more than what so far people signed up on on this list here online, but. Um, I guess that, you know, that requires that we have a little write-up about it, um, mm -hmm. about what the day is about, what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, whoever takes that on could borrow, beg and borrow from this, you know, whatever we have written up here before. Uh, so so we, we can, like, when you're going to invite this panelist, 
you will be writing down like a, a four lines about like we are having this project, you will you join us. Right, you can you could that. send that Already. out to us. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. I yeah. Can, okay. Yeah. And you had adjusted the timing from this original thing? Did you pull back or something? This, I is, know. this is adjusted, yeah. This is as we discussed or okay. came out of the last meeting. Okay. Yes. Oh. So Jane left and we couldn't ask her about the... I know, but hopefully so she comes so back me the me. very next time we will ask her that. Anyway, so she then, you know, if, if Marion is back, we can at least um, get a sense from her what she thinks is possible on the political side, the, yeah. the actions. Um, if, if we don't do the emergency declaration, we need to sort of think about what is that, you know, what can we get from right. a commitment? I, I, I participate in something from California, and the wonderful thing is when you sign up to come or to be part, they send, they give you a, um, a Google Doc, or say like, I um, commit to uh, uh, changing non white plastic, I commit to um, changing for solar plan. Oh, like a pledge. So a pledge. And, and it's great mm -hmm. because when I read that, I feel like, oh yeah, and I did it. I went and changed my whole thing for salt, but for, you know. That's why it's on this thing, community yeah. commitments. Right. So there's the community commitments and then there is what the town or what the select board oh, is yeah. willing to yes. commit to. Right, right, so that's right. where the, the slight yeah. distinction uh, here is. But yes. I think it would be great, you know, as we know from all change efforts, when people have a sense they're not alone. Yes. Yeah. Um, the town is doing its part, mm -hmm. the schools are doing their part, yeah. the, you know, whatever. Right, everybody's yeah. doing, the businesses are doing their part. I, in my household, do, then, yeah. it, then you feel much more. So public question, commitment is important. Is it a goal to get the, um, you know, the town to make the climate emergency declaration before this day? So that on that day there could be kind of an announcement that the town is taking a stand? Ideally, but I don't know the sequence of how these things go and, and how it would, you know, Jane would know more of like yeah. what has to happen in the select board yeah. before they do that. Because otherwise it's just a statement and, you know, I have a, my big doubts about what it means when you just sign something like that but then don't do anything. Oh, definitely, yeah. So <laughs> I mean... Which is, you know, what a big danger is with all these declarations, that it's... Oh, I know, just trying to get a recycling policy, like, you know, it's one thing, you can't, you don't just make the policy, then you have to act it out. Yeah, you know? exactly, and, you know, I've seen scientific studies that show that despite all these declarations, they haven't necessarily done anything, so... You know, I, I just would love it if there was some announcement that actually had some heft. Right. <laughs> yeah, what do they call it? Teeth. Or teeth, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> anyway, so does that sound good for January? What do we, what? So for January, do you want to repeat it? I think I have a summary. Um, go ahead. Why don't you share well, it? So basically, you know, thinking through the, the scenarios and the related logistical needs and what that has implications for the budget so that we know, you know, what are we asking for when we go to sponsors? So that's that's one topic, I think. I, I'm sort of connecting two items. And then I'll just report back on where I am with the contents and speakers, you know? And um, I will share, in the meantime, the blurb with you, just you okay. know, whoever mm -hmm. um, will do Catalina, Jack, and Bruce I have for outreach. So if you wanted yeah. to get started on that, um, I can yeah. do that. And so then we can, you know, I think we can deal with food, art, at a, at, a, mm -hmm. at another meeting. Um, and closer to the deadline. Yeah. So. And Marion definitely expects to attend the next meeting. She okay. She could not be here. Yeah, today. so then we'll hear that mm -hmm. from her as well um, mm -hmm. on what's possible there. Yeah. Yeah. So I, in between now and January, I'd be happy to work on the logistical needs and budget kinds of stuff. But I yeah, don't know if great. anybody else wants to. I would have to probably uh, contact you, Jack, and maybe Kathy. Yeah, yeah I'm uh, still for kind a lot of, of like, clarification and stuff. 
Jane anyway. just shot down the idea of us spending any money at all in tents. So I'm well, no, I, I don't necessarily no, agree. She, what she had said yeah. is the town won't fund. Right. Anything. If we want to do a tent, let's say it's let's say we need five thousand dollars, then we're going to look for sponsors. Then you need to raise five thousand dollars. That's why I'm saying right. So it still connected. makes sense yeah. to call Taylor Rental and find out how much it costs to rent tents. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you need to we need to know um, how many tents. For how many people? I don't know. You guys keep. Well, I know that's where the logistics coming come in. up with all this like nebulous mm -hmm. scenario. Yeah, well, it's also really hard to be Make pinpointing things, you know, when we don't know if the schools will open up in January. I mean, probably, but. Well, for the intensive, for the purpose of gathering this information, I think we should put a green light on this and not worry about. Yeah, I agree. Not try to anticipate what's going to close down. If we I think agree. things are yes. going to close yeah. down, then let's just forget the well, whole thing. We're a go, and I think we're going to work out two, you know, two or three different scenarios, yeah. what we're going to do if this happens, if this happens, if this happens. And, you right. know, some well, of Well, first, let's right. just get so, all the information, assuming that nothing is going to change, that we're going to be like this, right. wearing masks, but otherwise able right. to gather. Right. But most people uh, aren't gathering indoors to eat, for example. They might gather... For a breakout room meeting in here, but if you wouldn't put a hundred people in here, no, that's why I'm saying. But you I could put twenty people in here. It should take place over there. Have food trucks over there. Right. That's where yeah. people go to eat. Right, and I think you would need a at, at the, on the green a tent right. to eat, and then a tent for the speakers. So you, I'm just or making this up. Two even tents. A tent yeah, I don't think you need a tent to eat. But again, you know, well, as we're looking at scenarios, this is something we can come up with. Right. I mean, can thinking think about other, right. you know, events where there's a lot of food. There's no tent for eating. Yes, there is. The asparagus fair does I, that, but other things. No, I've, uh, been I've been to Amherst Commons many times, and there's always a table to eat it's right in the middle. Yeah. It's crowded. At the taste of Amherst. Uh, they have one, but then a lot of people oh, are right. eating. I, yeah, I right. Yeah. Standing around. And then they so, have a beer garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah but we're yeah, not having a beer garden. Yeah. Well, so let's. <laughs> yeah. Are we good on, on what's yeah. happening in January at yeah. our meeting? And then do we want to go to meeting twice a month? It sounds like that's probably not yeah. a bad idea. Yeah, that's not a bad idea for February yeah. and March. Yeah. And all of that, and, you know, it's easy enough for me working through the town clerk to post these because I, we just got another message from the town administrator about open meeting laws and doing things appropriately. Oh, we tell all the chairmen about it. Yeah. So can you do that part then, mm -hmm. posting? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So did you get information we need to know about? Um, I didn't accept, well, it was a general thing, and if we need more information, Carolyn Brennan can send us a PowerPoint, but just being transparent. Okay. For the public, and that's fair. Yeah. And always posting when we mm -hmm. have meetings. Mm -hmm. But they make the process so easy now. Oh, good. To run okay. through Jessica, and she posts as long as I'm doing it 48 hours ahead. Okay. Oh, good. But Kathleen, I just want to circle back, and I'm hoping Jane will come in a couple minutes. If not, maybe we can get her to answer that question because we need to know about the next town meeting. I really like your idea, of, you know, in the sense of organic and you know, mm -hmm. you know, trying not to having to raise money to pay speakers and things like that. Now that might be impossible. There might be some people with expenses mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, well, that's one thing Susan's going to find. Yeah. Out. When I invite them, I will not promise any money. I will just simply see if they would be willing, or if they raise it with me, then you know, th then I'll bring it back here and say we need to add this to the budget because yeah. we don't have any money. So. Yeah. Earlier today, I came from I'm on the building committee for the new Newman Center at UMass, so it's on the edge of campus and all of that, and they've almost met their fundraising goal. Cool. But they also have an enormous base of alumni that they yeah. can draw on, and Amherst and Hadley businesses and all of that. The fellow in front in charge of Vivon Vodka is on the capital campaign. Yeah. They've done it. But the person in charge of the capital campaign said, so many of her friends who are involved with fundraising are just striking out because... People are just maxed out. Yeah. And some of the other priority needs, like the food bank... Yeah. And all of that. Yep. Um, but I, you know, I think we can do a lot with not a lot of money. And we can also adjust how we do things. 
you know, we don't, we don't have, this doesn't have to cost any money. I mean, if we d don't have the money for tents, then we don't rent tents. You know, we, and if we, we borrow can, the tents. What? We would or, borrow or if the we'll tents. borrow. Yeah. You know, and if there's no money for tables and chairs, then we won't have tables and or chairs. Or people bring their own chairs, exactly. you know, like a yeah. soccer game. But it doesn't cost right, anything right, right. to yeah. call up some, I mean, you guys can help me figure out which food trucks, but we can have really good food out there and not have it cost a penny. Well, and you know, I'm happy to work with you and talk to Christian Stanley, who he and his partner did that beer garden event and they had a bunch oh, of yeah, food yeah. trucks. But I don't think we want to serve alcohol. No, no, no. He's no. using an example. He is. He he grows barley or something for yeah, beer, yeah. but he knows it was other food trucks that he got to the event. Oh, okay. Combined cool. with his alcohol truck or whatever okay, it yeah, is, I didn't and go all to of a sudden they had a pop up event, and it actually was a hit. Oh, okay. A big so, hit. Yeah. I think he did it over two Fridays or yeah. something. That's why I like uh, the comment. Yeah. I need to run. I'm just wondering okay. if the question that we have to Jane can be resolved over email or something. Yeah, probably. It's just a matter of um, getting on the select board's yeah. agenda, and she's our liaison to the select board, so she would right. guide us. On but also, that, that is an email. Or, or we could okay. just try doing what Catalina said, just ask the town clerk to put it on the agenda and see if it happens. Yeah, it, but it's as easy as an nice. email or a text to Jane and just say, what's the process? Right, yeah. Okay. And just yeah. in respect of the yeah. That's her way. That's her because way. she is our liaison, and yeah. she also knows the process very well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you, everybody. Well, and thank yes. you for everything that everybody is doing. Yes. Um, and, you know, there's a lot to be said for just trying an event to get people talking about this. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, I just wish that there was more input from the schools, I have to say. I find that very sad. I'm um, really involved with this Cooler Communities grant, and basically our well, students will be it. doing right. pledges. So they're on it. There, there, is a, there is a space for them. Is that what you mean? Or, or you mean on this I mean, committee? I wish that there was a student as part of this committee. Oh. I wish that there, were, um, we had there was a teacher part of the committee right. and kind of doing more on a parallel track with our students. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. I think that's a real missed opportunity. Oh, but we can send an invitation. Absolutely. We send an invitation to the Mother's Club, mm -hmm. and to the Teacher's Club, yeah, yeah, yeah. and to the... Yeah, that's the outreach. They send an invitation, mm -hmm. outreach. Yeah. Yes. And, and maybe this, this is, they will be motivated once we have the climate day to yeah. actually be well, maybe yeah. involved in certain clubs, like yeah. at the high school, like the Key Club and Student Club. Yeah, yeah. 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 If Jack, if you can send me five lines about the, the purpose the of the content, committee, yeah. and then I, I can send an invitation, like a, we, the committee of, of, of climate change wants uh, your uh, input, and we need you to be here. If any one of your organization come and, and, and be part of us. You know, you can ask if there is someone who is part of the Mothers Club and part of Mothers Out Front, yes. which is a, a leading climate change advocacy group. You know, that might be just the person we want. Yeah. yeah. Just send me that and I, I, I will send it to them and, and we'll see, you know. And it's related to this event or just related to our work? To us and to our work. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So you're here. Sure. Okay, we've got questions. <laughs> okay, you got, you got theirs answered. And your water is done yes, and forget you your water. So go ahead, ask the question. Go ahead, Bruce. Okay, um, the recommendation uh, on the managing the plastic bag reduction. Yes. We want to bring that before the select board as soon as possible. All right. So we didn't know what the process Thank you. is. I will ask to have a agenda item put on the meeting. It will not be for next week. Okay. So it'd be probably January. So it'd be the first meeting in January. Which, which, which is when? First, first Wednesday. First Wednesday. Which is early on. Yeah. I, it's not that. Do the so then application also have the event. event. No, no. Does that need to be on that same yeah. January five, I think. Okay. Hey, um, you, you'll confirm yeah. it? So January 5th and 19th are our board meetings okay. in January. January 5th? Yep. Yeah. All right. All so right. then do we want uh, the climate day request to go on the February select board? No, no it needs no, to no. go on that too. Okay, so we, so we need to ask her. So the climate change committee would like to come before the select board with two proposals yep. on the 5th. Mm -hmm. 
the climate change statement, mm -hmm. declaration, emergency, and the bag. Well, that means no, three. One, is, well, three. one is, the, is the climate change day. The event. Okay. Um, I don't know. Are we ready to have the, the uh, emergency? I don't think we are, and I think we should just have these two. Yeah. Right. I think this is. So the bag yeah. and, and the, the day. day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're going to get it on the agenda. <laughs> that's your job now, Jake. And you'll uh, <laughs> confirm it with us through. And that's now. usually 6 p.m. by Zoom lately. Is that what they're doing? Okay. So we want. Can you send out the link to that? We want. The Link to the select board meetings. Yeah. yeah, you have the proposal. Yeah. Wow. Um, That's yeah. actually before our next meeting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Got See you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for all your yeah. work, all right. your enthusiasm. Thank you. Take yeah, care. Yeah. Bye, bye bye. bye. And the second one is the climate day on April twenty third. That'd be the Hadley Climate Day. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Wait, I have to be here. Okay. Yes, so this meeting is now adjourned and we are scheduled to meet the second Thursday of January, which is 1.13. So we should know the outcome of the select board meeting. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.